Greetings, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to connect with me today for coffee and the Word. That time each day that we examine a portion of God's Word, and then we apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So grab that cup, and let's get going. We're going to talk about dodging the devil's darts today by Josh Smith. Our text is Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to this holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. One of the favorite games growing up was often dodgeball, writes Smith. He said, I was never the biggest or the fastest kid in my PE class. I was normally one of the shortest and the skinniest. This was to my advantage in dodgeball. I was not an easy target to hit because there was not much to hit. In dodgeball, you obviously must dodge balls that are being thrown at you. If you get hit, you're out. The truth is that we have a spiritual enemy called the devil who is constantly throwing darts at us that we must dodge. If we do not dodge them, it can be deadly. When Jesus walked the earth, the devil threw darts at him as well. The story in Matthew 4, 1-6 shows us how Jesus successfully dodged the darts of the devil. When we look at how Jesus dodged the darts, it shows us how we too can dodge the darts. First, it is important to note when the devil decides to tempt us, it is after Jesus was fasting 40 days and 40 nights. Was this an accident? Of course not. The devil is wanting to attack Jesus spiritually when he is most weak physically. He will do the same with you. The devil will wait for an opportune moment to strike. He's not an inexperienced adversary, far from it. He knows when you are at your weakest and will strike you when you are most vulnerable. Therefore, you must know what your weaknesses are and when you are typically at your weakest. For the devil will attack you in those areas and moments. If you want to be able to dodge his darts, it's important to anticipate when he will strike so you will be prepared for the attack. You are a lot less likely to lose the battle when you expect to be attacked versus being surprised by the attack. Once the devil realizes Jesus is weak physically, he attacks his identity. Notice that the first words out of the devil's mouth are, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Notice the devil, devil doesn't say, You are the Son of God. No, he says, If you are the Son of God. He is questioning Jesus' identity, and he will do the same for you. Join us tomorrow as we continue on thinking about the uh, dodging the devil's darts. Be blessed, and have a grace-filled day.